is going on hold on there we go um so obviously this is my well it's literally it's probably going to be titled something like my everyday look whatever it's not actually like my everyday look i don't do this every day um because i'm at school five days a week and uh, uh, uh nobody has the time or effort to do that at six o'clock in the morning um when i say like every day it's just kind of like a simple quick if i want to do my makeup and then i'm going out i'll do this um so yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already, it would mean the world to me, um, like this video while you're at it, and if you want to see how I got this simple look, then keep watching. Why do I look so white? Okay, so obviously I've already done my eyebrows, as you can tell, they're not having a good day in my opinion, so we're just going to forget about that. Um, so obviously it's just like a pretty simple eye look, so... Let's do this. So I'm just going in with the L'Oreal True Match um, concealer in the shade 2N, and I'm going to put that on my eyelids. I'm just dabbing that in with the damp beauty blender. You know, I notice that when I'm filming, a lot of the time I um, uh, what do I do? I like I say words like when I'm speaking, when I'm describing what I'm doing, something. I'll say words and then I'll go over it like I'll look over when I'm editing and realise that I've just either said completely Hold on, I'm trying to find the brush now I've either said like completely the wrong word or like said half of it and I'm just like wow I sound a bit stupid don't I? Okay so I'm just going in with the Rimmel um, Stay Matte uh, Powder and just making sure that that doesn't crease um, I'm just gonna put something tiny on my eyelids. I mean, sometimes I don't actually need this, but we're just uh, yeah, we're just gonna do it. Something tiny. So I'm just going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette again, and I'm just going in with this this shade right here. Okay, so I'm literally that's all I'm gonna put on my lids. Just I don't think it really did anything, so it's kind of pointless. But oh well, it's fine. So I'm just gonna go in with some. Mascara, this is the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational and I'm just going to put that on my eyelids because, you know, I literally have none. I've actually started putting coconut oil onto my lids, I, not my lids, onto my eyelashes um, and I think it's kind of working. Stop! Okay, so now that I've just put a bit of mascara on, I'm gonna go in with my Azedro Cosmetics. Azedro? I don't even know how to say it. Um, lashes. Um, I do actually have a discount account, so that will be somewhere on the screen, or it will be linked below, probably both. Um, so you can get 10% off, I believe, on lashes, and actually they are my favorite lashes. Like, these ones are quite, they're gonna fall out. These ones are quite simple if they want to focus yeah like i love them um but they have different styles and they're so inexpensive like so affordable they're actually amazing i wish i really had a clock in here because i need to know what time it is because i'm actually kind of in a rush i am going somewhere um so yeah i'm, I'm just winging this timing i think i should literally just get eyelash extensions because i generally just wear eyelashes all the time now but I don't like I don't know if I trust anywhere in Oman if anybody knows any good eyelash extension places in Oman please tell me because it would actually save my life I'm so sorry okay so eyelashes are on so I'm just gonna put some primer on my skin we're gonna do the face now um, I just use the Maybelline master prime this is for illuminating primer yeah the real techniques brush like this one and just kind of put a little few blobs on my face and just blend that in. 
actually no, because I'm very pale at the moment, so I'm gonna go in with a lighter foundation, but I literally hate all my light foundations. Like I've never found one that looks good on me yet. So I'm gonna mix a bit the Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade one one in one. 110 and I'm pretty sure this is quite light and then I'm just gonna go in with a bit of the Garnier BB cream and um, this is actually kind of a bit dark um, just because I still have a bit of like fake tan left on my neck so yeah thing is like I don't know if it's just me it's probably just the foundations I bought but I've never found like a foundation that's like pale like is in my type of pale that gives me coverage or at least like full coverage because I'm quite a I'm quite a full coverage gal and um I just never found one that actually gives me the coverage I'm looking for oh my god I actually look like a fucking ghost what the hell that's why I like kind of fake tan so much now is because I feel like my skin just looks so much better when it's fake tanned okay you know the funny thing is this um this is actually one of my lightest concealers and I always put this on like when I have fake tan like when I'm doing my foundation and stuff and it's always super light and it's literally the same color as my foundation right now I'm now prepared I have a new SD card and a new battery so life is good literally just putting concealer on I'm using the collection concealer um, I don't know what shade it is because it's like rubbed off, but I get I got it in the UK. Um, it's almost been a year since I bought this. Well, I actually bought two, and they're literally just about to run out. So I'm just going in with the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte. We're gonna go in um, with. I'm just gonna put a bit of bronzer on. I'm not really gonna contour much. And I'm just going in with this big, uh, this is the Real Techniques 100, it's like the, I think it's like the Iconic or something brushes, I can't remember. And this is just a Rimmel bronzer. I don't really like it, but it's like one of my light ones, so we're going to have to use it. It's actually alright, it's not bad. Okay, so we're just going to put a bit of a subtle highlight on. The MAC light scapade i never know how to say this but it's okay, so we're just gonna do a bit of under eye um just to make it balance it out a little bit so we're just gonna go in with the shade same shade we used before and i'm just gonna use um my Mikasi e230 brush just this little one here um i do also have a um code discount code for this i can't remember exactly but i will put it on the screen or down below either one for just to bring everything together is the rimmel extreme black volume colorist mascara and just put that on the bottom lashes and um i'm about to die but it's okay so i'm using the dragon hill part like i said and I'm just gonna go in with that one right there. And I'm just going with the rest of piece of shit. But yeah, it's just a really thin brush. And I'm just putting that on in my inner corner. Um, just to kind of make the eyes pop a little more. I'm literally this I need to sort these settings out. Put a little bit of like lip balm. So I'm just using this one right here. It's just a Elizabeth Arden one. Um, there's pretty much none there, but yeah. I'm literally just gonna put some setting spray on. So this is the Maybelline Superstay, Superstay setting spray. We're just gonna spray that on. So angels, that is the end of this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. It was just a little like simple get ready with me. Yeah, if you haven't checked out my latest video, please go do so. I think it's a pretty cool look. It's like a blue eye. I'll link it down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. That would mean the world to me. Click that like button while you're at it. And um, stay tuned for my next video.